This is a review for the Echovex DBOT N79S, N79SE, and N79W. Since we specifically tested the N79SC, I'll refer to this robot as the N79SC for the rest of this review. But note that all three models are essentially the same robot vacuum, so this review applies to all of them just the same. The N79SC's airflow was measured at 12 CFM. Its suction was measured at 0.44 kPa. In our carpet stress test, the N79SC picked up all debris types very well. This robot has a fairly narrow direct cleaning path as its brush roll compartment is only 5.5 inches wide. But with the help of its side brushes and repeated movement over the same area, it was able to clean up well in this test over time. In our carpet deep clean test, the vacuum picked up 6 grams of debris after 3 passes over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. In our hard floor stress test, the N79SC once again picked up all debris types very well. Here we again see it cleaning well over time with the help of its side brushes and repeated movement over the same area. The N79SC also performed quite well cleaning edges. This robot utilizes random pathing to move around when cleaning, and this pathing allows it to approach edges head on, which is good for cleaning them. It also does this back and forth movement against edges, which is especially effective for cleaning them. In our robot vacuum crevice test, the N79SC did not perform very well on default power. It did perform slightly better on maximum power, but even after extensive runtime, it still could not pull most of the debris out of the crevice used for this test. In our human hair pickup test, the N79SC picked up all the hair and most of that hair was pulled into its dustbin, though 20 to 40% of the hair it picked up tangled around its side brushes and brush roll and had to be cleaned off manually. In our pet hair pickup test, the N79SC picked up and collected all of the shorter pet hair used for this test in its dustbin. We tested the robot's cleaning efficiency and coverage in two different environments, an empty room and a cluttered room. In our empty room testing, we see the N79SC's random cleaning pattern demonstrated quite well. In this test, we can also see it cleaning very unevenly. Here you can see how it cleans the top side of the room much more than it cleans the bottom side. Even after extensive runtime, the robot continues this behavior of primarily cleaning the top side of the room and neglecting the bottom part. In our cluttered room testing, we again see a fairly random cleaning pattern, and we again see the N79SC cleaning unevenly. It repeats the pattern we saw earlier, where it focuses on the top side of the room and neglects the bottom side. Even after extensive runtime, the robot never cleans underneath the chair frame used for this test. Other important specifications and test results we considered for this review are summarized here. Note especially how there are no boundary accessories like a magnetic strip, for example, included with the N79SC or available for purchase separately. Also note the N79SC's runtime, bin volume, and noise output, and how those specifications and test results compare to the average for all the random pathing robots we've tested so far. Lastly, note the robot's diameter and height. These dimensions make the N79SC one of the smaller robot vacuums we've tested. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The N79SC picks up most debris types, including human hair and pet hair very well. It also cleans edges very well. It also offers good raw performance, good battery life, good bin size, and low noise output compared to most other random pathing robots we tested. It's also usually one of the cheapest robot vacuums on the market. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the single biggest issue that we have with it is that it failed both our empty room and cluttered room coverage testing. In our empty room testing, it demonstrated very uneven coverage. In our cluttered room test, it completely missed certain areas of the test surface. We also don't like the fact that this robot doesn't offer any boundary options. Many competitors at least give you the option of laying down a magnetic strip or installing a virtual wall to keep the robot out of certain areas of your home. This robot simply doesn't offer this functionality. In terms of general recommendations, we simply cannot recommend the N79SC because of the coverage issues we just mentioned. The N79S and N79W offer identical navigation and so are also not recommended for the same reason. See the description of this video for links to alternative budget options that we do recommend. And thank you for watching.